Nancy Cordes has been following it all. She's at the White House for us this morning. Nancy, I got to think they're feeling pretty good about this speech last night. Good morning. Uh, they certainly did a victory lap last night, Tony. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. You know, the speech was more combative than we had been led to expect here at the White House. He brought up his Republican opponent at least a dozen times in an address that was clearly designed to show that the president has the energy, the fire in the belly to serve another four years. The president of the United States. With re-election on the line, an animated President Biden came out of the gate swinging. You can't love your country only when you win. He talked about defending democracy and repeatedly went after former President Trump without naming him. My predecessor, my predecessor, my predecessor. He accused Trump of kowtowing to Russia's Vladimir Putin. I think it's outrageous. It's dangerous and it's unacceptable. Biden urged Congress to approve more aid for Ukraine, which is struggling to fend off Russia. My message to President Putin, who I've known for a long time, is simple. We will not walk away. Abortion was a focus. The president welcoming Kate Cox to the chamber, the Texas mom who was blocked by a state court from terminating a non-viable pregnancy. In a rare move, the president spoke directly to the Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe v. Wade. With all due respect, justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. You're about to realize just how much you get right out. It was a speech designed for an election year. Biden pushing for tax credits and lower health care costs. I want to cap the cost of this with $35 a month for every American in Egypt. Everyone. On immigration, the president called on Congress to pass a bipartisan Senate border deal after House Republicans rejected it at Trump's urging. I will not demonize immigrants saying they are poison in the blood of our country. I will not separate families. Send me the border bill now. President Biden also reiterated his support for Israel as families of hostages held by Hamas looked on. I pledge to all the families that we will not rest until we bring every one of your loved ones home. Members of his own party held up signs supporting a ceasefire as Biden announced the U.S. military will build a temporary port to get more aid into Gaza. Protecting and saving innocent lives has to be a priority. But Trump delivered his promised play-by-play, -play, weighing in on everything from Biden's hair to lipstick on his cheek. Near the end, Biden acknowledged concerns about his age and said this. Is it how old we are? It's how old are our ideas? Let's remember who we are. We are the United States of America. Now, Biden wasn't the only one who was animated last night. Republicans in the chamber challenged him at a couple of points, and he appeared to relish the unscripted back and forth with them over taxes and immigration. But the scripted part, that was the template for his general election message, and he's taking it on the road starting today with a campaign speech in Philadelphia in the battleground state of Pennsylvania.